What's up? How you guys doing out there today? You doing good? I hope you're doing good. I am doing fantastic. Today we're doing the level six review. That's right, the level six. This is the fattest cap that Montana makes. The fattest that they make. Is it the fattest cap in the world? I don't know, but we should compare that in the future. But today we're gonna find out how the cap sprays, what type of flare characteristics it has, and how it looks on the Montana cans. So let's get cracking. All right guys, let's talk about some of the basic characteristics of this cap first. It is a very dark shade of green. I would say somewhere around the realm of British racing green. The dot on the cap is a clear natural plastic color uh, and it has an extremely, extremely large exit pupil. I would put this around the same level as the silver fat for size. Let's take a look at her undercarriage. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Lewd, that is lewd. Oh my goodness, that is lewd. It is quite a wide stem slot on this cap. I would expect it to be in the realm of about one millimeter wide. So yes, you could expect quite a flow of paint to be coming out of your can. In fact, I expect it to drain your tins quite quickly. That said, if you're on a touchy surface, a real hit and go situation, I can't think of a better way to make your mark on society. All right guys, before we get started, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little bit of benchmarking so you can see the difference between the level six cap and a very popular cap that's very, very well known. Now right here I have some lines that were done with a New York fat cap and this was done at a medium line, a medium width. So I think we'll do a couple quick lines with the stock tip on the Montana black and the level six and compare them to this line and see how they would look at a medium width, an average line if you will. So let's go ahead and get started. First, make sure you take off the little ring underneath the Montana can here. Uh, if you don't take it off, you're gonna have a bad time. Yes, you are. And uh, do a little test spray first. Just make sure in case there's any resin or any uh, solvent that's in the straw. Always do a little test spray first, just to make sure. All right, let's go ahead and go for it. As you can see, the line is just a little bit fatter than the New York fat line just a skosh bit fatter, and I would say a little bit fuller as well too. Like all orange dots, if you will. Now, let's try out the level six. A little test spray first, and let's see how it looks. Oh my God. <laughs> That's at a medium width. Good grief, let's do a flare really quick. <laughs> okay guys, so as you can see from the line test, it's extremely wide and does a very wonderful flare. How does it look in a tag? Good question. Let's see. Ran out of room. It's a great tagging cap. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. As you can see, you get some very nice flare action with it, very, very smooth, very, very fun to write with. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of it. All right guys, what is it like to fill with? Good question. Why don't we mask up and find out? guys as you can see you can lay down quite a bit of paint um, I did this in probably about two minutes maybe a little bit less it's hard to say because I had to stop the video because the car went by nevertheless you can get in and out quite quickly with this setup much faster than you could with uh, some other other setups if you will not too shabby not too shabby indeed I definitely will be using more of these also I want to give a shout out to the homie Lurch the homie Lurch passed away recently and I um, want to give him some love. We'll be hitting him up in some of the future videos. Um, real good guy, sent me a very, very thoughtful letter. Still have it. Gave me this pin, by the way. This one right here. I'll put a link down below. You guys should definitely follow him. He's not with us anymore, but he was a young man on the move, making moves on the path to greatness. But sometimes life deals you a blow that you just can't just can't recover from unfortunately completely out of his hands 
Life is fragile. It really is. Anyways, big love to Lurch. We'll be hitting you up in the future. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. We got a chance to try out the fat cap in a fill situation. Now let's chuck up a few hit offs because the homies always want a few hit offs. And remember, if you ever want a hit off, just be sure to comment below on this video. Just make a quick comment. Uh, the wittier the comment, the better the story, the more likely you're gonna get a hit off. All right, let's go ahead and start with the homie snake. Maybe it's solid snake. All right, let's hit up the homie uh, CRKS. It must be a crew. Oh, let's hit up the homie P Ness. P dot N E S S. P Ness. Someone trying to trick me. All right, the homie wants me to hit up Gary. I don't know who Gary is, but that's his name. Gary wants a hit off, and I love the word Gary. It's a good name. All right, the homies in Brazil want a hit off, so I'm just gonna hit up Brazil. Oh, almost forgot. You can get pretty thin with this cap. It's pretty impressive. Hui hui. <laughs> Man, this cap is awesome. I'm just gonna fill in a bunch of stuff so we can rock the white now. Let's just do that. Just fill in a bunch of area. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give the white can a try. See how it looks with the fat cap. White, white. Remember that family guy where Stewie's like, why, white? <laughs> the white, a try. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's <laughs> so funny. All right, so the homie wants me to write Paris. I don't know if that's his name or if he wants me to write the city, but he wants to see a Paris tag. And he's gonna get a Paris tag. Right, oh, shit. get one of those lenses. All right, let's hit up Paris. Ooh, dirty, dirty, dirty. Let's give some love to an old school rider, Mr. Blade, King of Graph, Mr. Blade. I don't know if he was the first, definitely one of the first guys to paint the subways, like full car, top to bottom, end to end, full production. And he's still on Instagram. You guys should give him a follow. I'm gonna give a link right here. Blade King of Craft. King of Graph, my apologies. And his wife too, Teresia Queen. She's on there as well. And I, I think you should definitely follow her too because she actually updates his stuff more than he does. That's kind of like a thing with a lot of old writers. They're just not really on the social media. And it's interesting because, you know, we live, we grew up in an era, Generation X. It, we were from an old medium, you know. This is the medium right here, right? Now we have a new medium, social media. And now we have kids that are way more famous than a legendary old school writer. A lot of kids don't even know who he is. That's the way of the world. So. I guess what I'm saying is I'm gonna use this medium that I'm in right now to give him a plug because I hope you guys follow him because you wouldn't have what we have now without someone like him. You know what I'm saying? Now, speaking of new medium, they want me to hit off a dope. They want me to hit off a dope. Those kids in their new mediums. They're utilizing them though. And I gotta tell you, 
You know, a lot of people think of him as a pretty controversial figure, at least in the graffiti establishment. But Doak's a smart kid. He's a very smart kid. Don't second guess him. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a little older. I'm not out running around like you guys are anymore, but sometimes it's fun to just have a board in your backyard and you're just busting tags on. You know, old man stees. Just fun. Helps you relieve the pressure. You know what I'm saying? There's something about tagging that helps you just relieve your pressure. I don't know what it is. Um, when you're young, you want to do it everywhere, on everything. It's natural, natural young instinct. When you're older, eh, it's more like a hobby, I guess. Something to do. Like building a ship in a bottle, you know? Doing this. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the new medium. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, I still got some paint left in here, so I think I'm gonna do a couple more tags. I think I'm gonna hit off Blade again. I'm gonna do a little different, a little different style. I gotta give Blade love, man. I gotta give Blade love. Starting to run out. All right, let's do another quick hit off. I want to give some love to Pentel for making those fantastic markers. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, a little skate. Woo, almost out, almost out. Little 206 love. All right guys, it looks like this can is pretty much cashed out. So why don't we go inside and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the Montana level six. See you guys in a second. All right guys, that was the level six in action. And I gotta tell you guys, it is definitely the fattest cap that Montana makes. Now, is it the fattest cap in the world? I don't know, I don't know, but we should do a comparison soon, soon. I need to start collecting caps. Uh, but I will tell you this, in the Montana line, you will not get any fatter, you will not get any more flary, you will not get any more flowy. Uh, but a word to the wise, this cap will definitely, definitely drain your tin. Absolutely. Uh, but if you are a man of action, in and out, very quickly, then I can think of no better tool to get the job done quickly. That is for sure. Will I be using it in the future? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, definitely will be. Uh, when you need to do a quick fill, there's nothing better in the Montana line for you to do that. For piecing, it will be quite big, but if you like to do fat cat pieces, it definitely could be done on a larger scale, of course. It may be for some people, it may not be for others, uh, but if you just wanna make a big mess, <laughs> then look no further than the level six. It'll definitely make a mess, that is for sure. But hey, if you just wanna have some fun, uh, mess around with a fat cap to do some effects, then pfft. So anyways, guys, I gotta get going. We gotta get started on the new video. It's like a rare sunny day, so I gotta be like, all right, let's go out there and take advantage of that weather. Uh, oh, shout out to the homies in the Midwest, Chicago, uh, Minneapolis, all y'all out there just freezing your butts off. Wouldn't wanna be ya, but I'm thinking about ya. <laughs> 
Stay warm out there, guys. It's a cold one. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. 206-365-4083. 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, homie. Artprimo.com. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I got a link down below. So if you want to grab these, hit the link. I got a link to the paint. I got the link to everything and a little private love letter for me. And if you guys ever want to hit off, make sure you comment on the YouTube video. The most witty, the most funny, the most interesting. Get precedence. All right, guys. See you later. Peace.